What's up, YouTube? Today, uh, we're gonna react to some pe dumbass people getting arrested at their jobs. Let's see how it goes. From an intoxicated employee to a supervising thief, here are three times when people got arrested at their jobs. Starting with 21-year-old Naylan Tierra, an employee at a Chevrolet dealership who, on February 20th, 2023, refused to leave her workplace after being found to be intoxicated. Officer Cafroni. I think I saw DJ Ghost uh, react to this. This, she was going crazy. I believe how it went is, uh, he wasn't well i think he just said it i'm gonna just watch it my bad was the first to arrive and was briefed on the situation she was on the phone mm -hmm. and one of my other employees downstairs heard the person that she was on the phone and mm -hmm. he stopped drinking while on the job uh -huh. so we just terminated her like probably 10 minutes before okay. i called you guys oh, and she's refusing to leave okay so and you heard the right supervisor yeah i'm the manager Like, I wonder what someone in that, I mean, I, I know you're intoxicated, so that probably gives you the feeling of doing whatever you want, but, like, she, <laughs> she. Hi, ma'am, how are you? Hi. You doing okay? Yeah, um, hi, what's your name? I am Officer Cafroni from Fomai's Police. Once the officer finally What's confronts her, name? the woman only took a first glance at him and continued with what she was doing on the desk. But her nonchalant attitude wasn't going to let slide as the officer proceeded to question her. Um, how may I help you? No, how may I help you? What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just trying to figure this out. Figure what out? Um, this. What's your name is? Nailina Tierra. Melina? Nailene. Nailene? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any idea why I'm here? No clue. Just Would you like yeah. to know why I'm here for? That's your problem. That's your problem. Well, I, I know what I'm here for. That might be your problem, actually. Uh, that might be a business of yours. Good see. The woman kept what? ignoring and even spoke rudely to the officer, but the officer disregarded it and turned to the manager, who then tried to explain the situation, but was interrupted by the woman saying something very hard to believe. She She's a BDC. She works in the business. Yeah, I'm also center. in law school if you want to take down my um, lawyer's information. Well, I don't want to talk to you just yet. You just yeah, ignore yeah. me. I'm also in law school if you want to take down... I'm gonna just let it play. That's crazy. Okay, so, so she was I administrator. Type of name mm -hmm. my... Yeah, that's her desk. Oh, okay. So I want your ID number with you, your first and last name, so I could you talk gonna, to my you, lawyer. You're you gonna get it. Yes, because I'm in law school. Okay. All right. So, uh, so you, she's gonna talk to her lawyer because she's in law school to get to get them what in trouble or something. <laughs> This is fun. I'm, I'm, I'm a paralegal by profession. I'm a oh, yeah. Um, I did, I'm 21 and I did paralegal like what, a year ago? Okay, so what's your first and last name? Officer Cafroni from Ice Police. For a 21-year-old, it is very unusual that she has graduated from law school. She would need yeah. a four-year college degree and to take the LSAT to get into law school, which might prove to be difficult, especially since she was working a full-time job. Nobody believes that she went to law school for four years and... <laughs> Not with the way she's acting. I understand people get slip ups, but you taking it to the job, nobody can defend you on that. Job. Later, Officer Barnett arrived, and they both attempted to persuade the woman to leave. Uh, you're not leaving. I am. I am. Okay, what, just, when, when is your ride coming here? Oh, cuando mi mamá me dice que va a venir. My, my partner doesn't speak Spanish, okay? Your partner doesn't speak Spanish, no. correct? So that means I have to physically speak. Did you, did you guys officially ask her to leave the property? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> what? And her mom was on the phone after I Yeah, my mom said that she was on the way. Her mom said she's not coming to pick her up. No, no, let me put my mom on speaker. 
You need to leave the dealership oh now, goodness. please. Okay, so I damn near feel sorry for her. Because she's probably a mother. You know, I don't wanna assume anything, but you know. She could be a single mom, da 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 I've been too stressed. You know. I've seen people get that way, so it's actually a sad thing. Ma'am, let me. Okay, so the phone. You can guys hang up should, the phone too. Okay, so I I asked my mom to come on the way. Your mother told me she's not picking you up. So who, what's my mom's name? I don't know. She was on the phone. Okay, so that means she doesn't speak very good English. Okay, so that means that you don't know my mom's name. So that means I have to get my mom. But I phone. just asked you to leave. No, okay. I it's, so. it's time to go. Drives, we're we're telling you you need to leave. You're gonna be trespassed. So I can't. She's actually not bad looking. Either. She's kind of pretty. You hate to see a dumb pretty woman. <laughs> oh, we're not even dumb. She's intoxicated, but she's acting pretty dumb. I can't call my mom and ask her. You to don't. Pick they me don't up? want you to use your their phones, okay? So I can't ask my mom to come pick me up. You can use your phone, not mine. She tried to stall by ignoring the officers and then called her mom asking for someone to pick her up. But the call didn't go as you might think. Mommy, mm -hmm. this is my mom. Hi, mom. So, tengo la policía aquí diciendo que yo necesito irme de los premises. Que yo By the way, she's speaking. I feel like she's. And there's nothing wrong with spoil, but she just seems like she's a little too spoiled. That she doesn't have to take accountability for anything. That's the vibe she's giving. She's giving that vibe. Aquí que me recoja, porque es una gringa aquí fea. Tú sabes, ya, ya de pinga. La vieja aquí. Having insulted her boss and acting as if they weren't sure. there, the officers had enough and then proceeded to do what they should have done in the beginning. I've had enough. We're going. We're going outside. We're going Are you outside. touching me? Let's go outside. We've asked you to leave. Let's go. Touching me? First. We're going outside. Let's go. Are you touching me? Yes. We've at, everyone's asked you to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go outside. I will. I will pick myself up, but don't touch me. Okay. Let's go outside. Okay, We've let asked me you grab to my leave. Purse. Let me grab my purse, but do not touch go. me. Okay. Outside. But my lip gloss. Bro. Like, like, bro. What the is wrong? We're, with we've you asked you to leave. It's I'm time to go. That's okay. All right. Let's all check right. out my mask. All right. All right. Put your hands on your head. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Jeez, wow. <laughs> Bro, stop! Stop! Mommy! I just want you back. No, I'm not. I don't resistance. No, this isn't resisting. This is resisting. This is not stop resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm literally so innocent. I'm innocent. This could have been super simple and you could have just left. Lock it, lock it real quick. Look at my stuff. Look at my phone. Simple enough. Like. You'd rather cause a scene than to just go about your day and just find something new to do. There are people like this everywhere that want the attention than to just bring peace, which is crazy. No, this is Stop it. moving, stop moving, stop moving. What's wrong with you guys? This is my phone. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What my are you doing? Purse, my purse, no, no, no. My purse, that's my purse. That's my phone. That's my, like, what are you guys doing? That's my purse. That's what are you doing phone. to yourself? That's the no. question. No, what the question You've is. You've been drinking a lot today. I don't know what you were drinking, my dear. Pretty strong. No, I'm just drinking. He said, my dear. Hey, miss, do, do me a favor. Do a sweep on that desk. Make sure doesn't, nothing else that belongs to her is there. You know what? You know what, you guys, you guys, this whole company, this whole company's gonna be sued by my law. Bro, this whole company's gonna be sued. Come on, take me up! Take me up! You could have just left. Not it! Not it! Take me up! But you guys are gonna be sued. 
Okay. She was finally arrested, fired, and charged with disturbing the peace, trespassing, and resisting. And instead of just walking the hell out, having a good time, and go enjoy your drunkness, and then find another job after, you got all these dumbass charges. without violence, but unlike this woman who was caught intoxicated, this one was caught stealing in her workplace. This case involves a Castleberry woman who, on June 26, 2021, was this, this is gonna be good. Man, we're only seven minutes in, let's get it. ...expected of stealing cash at her job, so the owner called the cops on her. It's like we have the bank numbers. Plus we have the serial numbers of the other seven Okay, cool. So, all right. That's how do we do this? We just go in and just, uh, how does she look? She's got a long tan khaki skirt. She's got a black over jacket. She's the shorter of the two. We have the register tape too that she pulled it, like the timestamp too. Okay, you got that on video? Or do you just tape? I just have me on video, but not her on video doing it. But I have the time that she went over time. The business owner, suspicious of her employee, decided to mark some bills that would later disappear. Anticipating this, she called the police. Who See, that's one thing I never, you know, we've all been on jobs and, you know, gave ourselves five finger discount. I'm not saying all of us. I'm not even saying myself. So I don't know what you're talking about. But, um, yeah, stealing out the cash register, like, that was never enticing to me because that shit could be traced and all like, I just never understood because there was even people in my old job who would do that and I just never understood it because that's a risky ass thing like you won't get fired don't expect your ass to um stay at that job and then you get fired only for what 10 20 okay even if you get a couple hundred dollars wow You, you risked one day's worth of $100, a couple hundred, rather than when you get paid way more bi-weekly or weekly or however they pay you. And that shit just never added up to me. Later questioned the woman. Hello. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Good, how are Say you? Catch me Police Department. Yeah. Reason why I'm here today. Why do they gotta be kind of cute, though? I mean, am I acting? Am I seeming desperate? Like, <laughs> they kind of cute and they're Latina. Are they trying to say something about Latinas? Because we got a call in reference to something. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a second. Okay? Yeah, of course. Is there somewhere we can talk to her? If you want to privately, you just go in the back. <clears throat> yeah, you can go ahead okay. and show us. Yeah, I, mean, I get it. If you're doing it for safety reasons, but kind of, I kind of got the vibe that boss lady right here never confronted her. And that is one thing I never really liked. When the boss never confronts their, I mean, yeah, that's, they stole. Okay, whatever. But it's just... They could have confronted them first or something, you know, maybe she did. I don't know. Maybe she lied. I'm just saying. Some people are like that. I, all I was doing was trying to play tampon. I thought I started my period, and I had moved this girl's bag. I only paid her back because I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want it to be put on me because I'm not that kind of person. And the way she was talking to me, like, it felt like it was going to be... Who was the she? Was it your manager or No, it was um, a girl at the party that... I guess she had messaged me and she said like I saw you the one doing that. The young woman seemed extremely nervous as she had no idea what was going on, but the nerves were for another reason as she mentions a different case in which she's involved in. The officers then tell her that she is So oh, did she just snitch on herself? <laughs> and then you're not even talking about the same thing? So you haven't you adding double double time on your on your on your sheet right now. On your rap sheet. 
She's messing up her. Damn, that's just crazy. Being questioned about something else. Appreciate it, but that's not necessarily why we're here today. We're here because you're being accused of theft. <laughs> However, the theft is not in regards to that part. It's in regards to something that's happened here today. Okay. So, you have a manager um, who advised us that, well, not manager, you have one of your other coworkers who advised us that they left a certain amount of dollars, very identifying marks mm. on that. And you were the only person in the store. Okay. So. She also has the receipts of the opening of when the drawer was opened, what exact time. Okay. <laughs> now. She must not see stealing money. That's a bad thing because it's like. Why are you why are you talking about a party and what happened to a party? And you should know at your job after stealing money, that's most likely why they're going to be there. Like that makes no sense, but whatever. Where we're at right now is uh I can't I can't promise you anything. Mm -hmm. But for me, and I'm sure we also for our same thing, honesty is the best policy. Okay. So could you tell us anything about that? I did do it. Um, I'm having some issues with money right now. Um, she, I just like bought up She a admitted card. it. I'm like the last chick. So it's, I haven't been working lately. Um, I will admit to that. So. Was it just today or has it been in the past? It was today, and then I've done it in the past before, but never like large amounts. How much would you say? Probably like. That's why we all to the back. Snitched on herself again. I would have just said today. <laughs> Surprisingly, confesses to stealing from her. Good on her for that, you know. Because it makes no sense once you're in a corner and then you think you can, like, dig out that corner. Nah. <laughs> so good on her employer over the past month and even that same day but the thing is but stealing for months you're an idiot <laughs> you're a damn idiot why would you buy a new car if you're having money problems somehow yeah. she didn't notice the markings on the dollar bill and kept on stealing from the register thinking she would get away with it all right do you mind do you mind Okay, either she has no concept of, like, stores counting money and stuff like that, or how money works at all, because why would you think that you was never going to get caught about that to where you keep doing it? I understand maybe, like, once. And then, granted, I've never done this, so I can't even explain, but at least maybe, maybe like, once every year or something once a year or something i don't know that you stay at that place but every month stupid stupid uh can we go over here for me just to identify that's not my person can i take a picture of you here i already have all the pictures this is going on in the report can you identify these bills you see any jay so far and I have serial numbers of oh, the other side. I gotta get the serial name. Well, the J's I know are winners. There's one J. There's my J's. There's another J here. This is the only J, but I'll get you the serial number. That's a J. That's my Okay. Caitlin, I need the serial numbers. After the boss finds out, she's then asked if she wants to press charges against her. Her disappointment, it's clearly visible. Yes, I do. And because I added it up. It's $1,000 that's been going on. I'm breaking my freaking heart. I have the documentation in my car. I wasn't seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. And you thought you were just gonna get away with that? That's freaking wild. I turn it over because I was trying to rule it out. 
But I'll show you what I was preparing for my insurance company. Forehead ass. Okay, let's see that. It's well over what she has here. I was hoping she would show it all. What you took this morning and you didn't. So, mm -hmm. no. So far, I think I would rather have a drunk employee to fire than someone who stole from me, especially for months. That's freaking wild. Here, the officer finds out that the sum she initially stated was a lie, and now the amount, it's around $7,000. The police officers then find even more money than they already had in her bag. Is this all from So I'm wondering if she like stole a thousand each month or something like that. Cause there ain't no way she just stole that in a couple of months and thought she was going to get away with it. Seeing this, they handcuff her and put her under arrest. And here, more shocking truth is revealed. See that paper? You can just look at all of it. You can have it. Um, and that twenty-two thousand doesn't calculate the thirty. No, I didn't know this. I actually okay. came in because I was planning on just interviewing her. Right. She was not originally who I thought it was going to be. I was very shocked. I, I got it down to just I ruled out everybody but her and another girl. Yeah. And I actually just thought it was the other girl, to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. But now looking at all this evidence and the time clocks when she was here, it all lines up. The total amount she took is nearly $25,000. And that was just in the first five months of the year. God, 25000 Thumbnail, but um, twenty five thousand. Nah. <laughs> the woman was booked into the Seminole County Jail on a five thousand. What type of is? Are they in a jewelry store? Where are they working? Where she could just steal it? I mean, I'm not saying that's impossible. You probably could. I mean, yeah, I keep forgetting she's still in actual cash. $25,000. bond and faced up to 15 years. Over five months, they said, I think. And she. <laughs> That's wild. Faced up to 50 but was given one year probation. All things considered, she got lucky to only get probation for stealing that much yeah, money. Although this particular employee was caught because of a sting operation, this one was caught in the act and on camera. 25,000 and she stole and, and was ballsy enough to come back to the job each day. Like that's dedication. Like. And you saying you did all that just for a car note payment? I don't believe it. She probably was thinking she gonna lick that motherfucker for the rest of her work in there. I don't know. That's crazy. 25000 And she had to pay that back. Wait, my bad. Let's go back. This is Alex Barrett, an Amazon worker who was not only accused of taking items from large automated God. supply containers, but also removing products from their factory sealed no, packaging. <laughs> I would never do it, but I mean, it makes you wonder, like, I'm not surprised if anybody steals any products from Amazon. They literally deliver any and everything. I mean, shit. I'm not saying I would never, because I wouldn't. I haven't even from my own job. I bought everything. But. But they have too many cameras, so that would have me on edge. I would never do it, see? 
Some people are just more ballsy than me, I guess. And then hiding the empty packaging. Uh, Apple Air Watch uh, that went missing. Okay. Uh, we were investigating it. We found him responsible for it. So what he did was he reached inside a, um, a pod, picked the item out, ripped the package open, and conceals it in his pocket. Stole like Apple Air Watch. In the course of the uh, interview, he's admitted to uh, taking three boxes of uh, Apple AirPod Pros in addition to what we have. Uh, he's providing a voluntary statement. No, he, uh, he does have one of the uh, uh, items on him now at his workstation, so I can actually get a manager to bring his backpack down and everything. Um, so we'll recover those items today, or at least the one item that he does have on him. As deputies made their way into the sprawling Amazon West Mesa, that was when security walked them through their investigation and how the crime was committed in a place where every item is tracked at all times. He has on him. Oh, he already told me he has the other stuff upstairs too. So, so. We did observe him on video something that's enforceable by Amazon. But you'll have another associate come over and the associate will reach in his pocket and then they'll do a hand-to-hand -hand deal. Hmm. So, I mean, there could be drugs involved. Um, This is that. There could be drugs involved. How did this go from stealing Amazon packages to drugs? Is this even Amazon? I think it is, ain't it? Yeah, Amazon Confidential. Barrett is what's called a picker, responsible for transferring merchandise from a large, never-ending supply See, of containers. Some of our packages be slow as hell because motherfuckers like him. Containers <laughs> into yellow-colored plastic tote bins, where the items are prepared and packaged for shipping. So I, 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 he definitely opened that package, but he didn't. I didn't like notice him take anything out of it. It he takes him a second it as it gets towards the end of the video. Uh, is when he conceals it, so he'll reach back in there. He takes a while working that package. Yeah. Um, and he's so he's back at it now, it looks like. Yeah. He's working it some more. Right. I think this has been pretty, pretty really good, personally. Maybe. Is that what he's on still, I guess? Right there. Right there, that's the concealment. Yep, that's what they were showing me today. 12.32.30. The deputies closely observe as Barrett blindly carries out the disappearance of an Apple Watch, along with a couple of pairs of Beats earbuds. The deputies then confronted he Barrett at the, the job box. site. And he got him out the box that fast? That was only a few seconds. tried to get a confession I don't know that I absolutely don't know that because like I said I don't know what's going on okay look at his eyes he he knows he's he fucked up he knows he messed up for sure he know he messed up look at him eyes bro he is flabbergasted <laughs> like this dude his heartbeat is like his soul was about to leave his body. What was it? Okay. Like the wireless one? How many uh how many items? Okay. Were they all the same item or different? Okay. And he looked like an older brother. I thought he was a young dude. He looked like he's a little older. Is, like, were you going to, like, resell him or? Okay. 
I'll be honest with you, I do really need to know is like when did it was it yesterday or no. it was today? Oh, oh, months ago? Yeah. Okay. Barrett finally admits to swiping a few pairs of earphones and selling some of them. I am fully against Of course he was. <laughs> he ain't gonna keep all that into himself. He gonna see that as a freaking uh hustle. Who wouldn't? I mean, if you think you can get away with it, but yeah, you think he's just going to stack all those in his house? Nah, he's going to flip those. Any type of crime, but when people make bad choices, sometimes encountering folks like this cop can make all the difference in the world to help really learn the lesson at hand, especially when Amazon probably didn't even notice the difference. What'll happen is I'll gather information from them um, we'll probably see you out of here. Um, you, you'll be released and you'll get some, you'll get some paperwork in the mail to appear for it later on. Um, that's best case scenario. If what you're telling me is true, I want to take you at your word because I think you're, I think you're telling me the truth. Um, then that, that's what would happen. If, if they I, tell I me like, no, you took something gave. today, like recently, that would change things. I would have to take you into custody. They did let him walk free that night, but that would be the last time law enforcement saw Barrett. <laughs> the 34 Oh, of course. year old never turned himself in, and there is still a warrant out for his arrest as he faces one count of embezzlement. During the question and all that when you could have just worked your ass that damn job Honestly, and get your money. It is evident that Barrett regretted his actions, but it is also quite unfortunate that he would choose to disappear. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one. Goodbye. <laughs> watch this one. Goodbye. Nah, that was pretty good. I'm gonna have to subscribe to Detective Williams. Pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely gonna like that. Um, yeah, that was actually good. Crazy. Really, really dumb. Like, I get why this is called when dumb people get arrested. <laughs> really dumb. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, the audio is better on this. If so... Uh, how about dropping a like? If not, that's cool. Hey, or at least leave a comment or something. Say my videos suck or something. Please. <laughs> Anyways.